You see those warriors from Hammerfell? They've got curved swords. Curved swords. Welcome to another episode of the top modes of the mall. Today I'm covering a bunch of things. Some dynamic crafting and looting animations, some cognitive stuff like bug fixing and some updates on some very important core modes. Wetness effect for community shaders, quest modes, a magicka overhaul which is super cool, a bunch of new hair and many more. If you would like to stay for more Skyrim videos, feel free to throw a sub or like the video. Only 5.4% of you guys who are watching those videos are subscribed so if you want to support the channel in any way that's how you do it that being said let's begin with dynamic crafting animations are you bored when it comes to enhancing or doing anything on your gear on the workbenches of skyrim And again, it, it just works. Well, not anymore because this mode, what it does is actually revolutionary and every time you are going to, let's say, enhance a pair of gloves or some helmet or let's say a sword, you will see your character visually grabbing and using those items in the specific benches. The same goes for sharpening stones. For instance, if you are going to sharpen an iron dagger, you're going to see your character sharpening an iron dagger. The same goes for every weapon out there. So this mod is something that I am going to have on my mod list forever. It's something that enhances vanilla scan, which is what I like to do. I think no matter the mod list you are running, you can sneak this one through because it is a fantastic mod to have and it just does so much. Make sure to check the requirements and with that being said, we have another one of those from the same modder called Dynamic Looting and Harvesting Animations, which does exactly what the mod author implies third person animations for harvesting and looting in case you're using the quick loot menu i'm not the biggest fan when it comes to having those i don't like having any downtime when it comes to my game i just want to loot the dead nazim on the floor and just be done with it but again this is just me if you care about third person animations when it comes to looting those this mod is absolutely the best when it comes to that what i love about gira pomba which is the mod author is that his mods they are very light when it comes to scripts so his mods will always be fine to run in any lot order no matter how many mods you have let's move to some i will say maybe the most important mods in my opinion in this episode first of all we have mfg ng this is an updated version of the mfg fix and in case you don't know what mfg does it helps with the whole facial animation restructure for instance if you had your character blink or take some random expressions this is the mod that does that there were some crashes or some issues with the old version but the new version came out it fixed a lot of those it's compatible with almost every version of Skyrim that i know of get this one update mfg again such an important mod that i wish will get more of those core mods updated more often then we have the ssc engine fixes complete config if you're someone who doesn't care about tweaking your settings opening your your engine fixes and manually adding any files what this does it is going to give you the best options by installing this when it comes to having a very stable game for instance the mac studio that you see here the default setting if you are using engine fixes is i think close to a thousand which means if you are going to get over a thousand plugins your game will pretty much break you can fix that by changing the mac studio so again this mod adds a bunch of any files or updates them so you don't really have to manually change anything if you're someone who knows how engine fixes work for instance myself i don't really need to install this but if you're someone who again cannot bother with this type of stuff this mod covers all of the changes you need on your any files for you to avoid any crashes i think this mod is very important because most of the people would like to have an automated version of fixing those type of files and as you can see this this mod covers all of those below so it's a very important and cool mod and with that being said let's move to the next one now we have a really interesting mod i've been trying it for a few days and this is magica flow a magica regeneration overhaul this changes completely how magica works and i haven't really knew that many mods that kind of adjust how magica works so what this mod does essentially every time you go in combat your magica regeneration is reduced 
reduced. So it enhances the approach that before you go in combat you have to use most of your spells and once you go in combat it's gonna be very hard to regenerate magicka. That applies on potions, that applies on magic effects, so you have to be very careful how to use your magicka. If you are playing someone like a spell sword or a battle mage, I find this cool but when it comes to playing a full mage, I'm not very sure about that. I know that magicka and regeneration of magicka is pretty much broken so this mod is a very interesting approach that is going to make Skyrim feel very fresh when it comes to the whole magicka management. And you can sith and unsith your spells in order to change the magicka so it's very interesting again how it works. I think it's super cool. It's a mod that I'm having lots of fun trying out because it completely changes again how magicka works and I don't know I think I like it. Do you guys like this or not? Let me know down in the comment section. Next we have a mod that I've covered before. This is wetness effects and no this is not what you think. This is not a sass mod. This is a graphic overhaul type of mod that works only for community saders. Community saders is a lightweight version of in beast that is made for people who want to play Skyrim while having mid rigs and mid computers and with community saders you can achieve 60 frames per second while having some of the best visuals in the game while making your game look like Skyrim and not like some different game. So wetness effects again as you can see it adds a bunch of red ghost wetness effects that completely changes community saders for me. This is an incredible mod you don't need much to make vanilla Skyrim look the best while giving the most performance. So give this mod a try in case you want to know how to install community saders and what you need to do. I am going to link the video I've made regarding that in the comment sections and in the description. Let's move to the next mod which is take a nap. This is a mod that when you waste a chair you can press shift and E and you can have your character sleep and it even plays an animation for that and it's kinda cool sometimes you cannot find a bed you know sometimes you're in the middle of nowhere there is no beds there is nothing it's only death okay I'm joking but you will find this one chair that you will need to use and if you are playing on hardcore difficulty sometimes you need to sleep in order to level up so this mod kinda works for that I like the approach of having to use the bed instead of a chair but I've been there before guys I don't know how many times you have slept on a chair but oh boy when it comes to me I've slept a lot of times then we have two quest overhauls and let's start with a smaller one this is the infiltration quest expansion if you know Jay Sebra he's a god amongst gods because he's on a mission guys his mission is to enhance some of the Skyrim quests Jay Sebra picks those different quests and I 100% recommend you to check his mod page and he enhances those quests by giving extra dialogues, adding extra NPCs, extra scripts. The quest he enhances feel completely different like you are playing a better version of that quest. And this is the infiltration quest line. It includes extra voice lines, some can't coded restoration that Bethesda never bothered to put in. It has some bug fixes as well and it adds some nice dynamic comments. This mod is a nice overhaul of the already cool quest quest called infiltration. This is a must in anybody's mod list in my opinion. I wish we had more of those. And then we have the thief skill alternative endings. When you do the thief skill quest line, you cannot really decline nocturnal. There has been one or two mods that kind of fixes that. However, this one lets you completely play out a different ending when it comes to the thief skill. Different events will play with different dialogues, with expanded quest lines, new stories, new rewards, new items new everything. There is more bosses with this. If we had more of those in the quests of Skyrim, oh my god guys, Skyrim will be such a better game. Skyrim is an exploration type of game, so we don't get that many mods or quests that focus on the RPG elements. And don't want to spoil too much, but you will have the option to either let Carolia die or save her. There is some Elder Scrolls lore that gets introduced, and maybe one of the coolest, best mods that I had to review in this episode episode in my opinion. Give this mod a try guys, you won't regret it. And lastly we have Coralina's aesthetics. We get 3 unique hairstyles with SMP physics and full HDT support. As always, sadly no love for males guys, nobody likes males in Skyrim. My most favorite is definitely the short hair because I love short hairs. Those hairstyles are a very nice addition to the collection. Thank you. 
With that being said, that was it. If you stayed until the end of the video, thank you for the support and thank you for watching. Don't forget to like the video, to subscribe, comment down anything down below to help the algorithm. And I will see you guys in the next one. Until next time, be nice and happy modding.